Hi everyone, how you doing? Welcome. My name is Venom. Last year was a blazing success story for PlayStation 4. It's because of its massive sales lead that PS4 has managed to secure so many exclusives. And it's in 2016 that PS4 will stamp its mark on the console generation with an avalanche of standout games that will take advantage of the hardware and define its legacy. This specially curated list has been carefully selected to reflect the awesome diversity of titles that are coming. Not every game is for everyone, but there will be something in here that is right for you. I have split this list into five sets of ten, with a direct link to each provided in the show notes, so you can watch each one when you're ready to. So here is my look at the 50 most anticipated PlayStation 4 exclusives of 2016, including games that are console exclusive or family exclusive. Let's begin! Horizon Zero Dawn is a post-apocalyptic open-world action RPG set in a lush and vibrant world where humans struggle for survival in a land dominated by giant mechanized dinosaurs. You take the role of Alloy, a skilled and brave hunter. On a quest to protect your tribe, you must make the dangerous journey to seek out the secrets of the fallen civilization for anything that will give humanity a fighting chance to survive. This is the first brand new IP from Guerrilla Games in over a decade, and it's clear they have invested heavily in it. The story has been written by John Gonzalez, the man behind the critically and fan acclaimed Fallout New Vegas, which should give it a solid grounding and an abundance of gratifying missions. It features graphics comparable to Killzone Shadowfall, but with a playstyle that has significantly more depth and freedom. There is a focus on resource hunting and energetic melee combat where you can take down the mechanized creatures in a variety of explosive ways. Horizon Zero Dawn promises to be all kinds of wonderful if it delivers on its promise. This could be the big one just in time for the Christmas holidays. It's time to buckle up. Gran Turismo is the definitive racing car franchise. Renowned for including a massive selection of world-class licensed vehicles and having the most accurate driving physics in a console game. Its history is entwined with the PlayStation platform as each game has been a flagship title on each generation of PlayStation console. Now it's time for it to make its debut on PS4 with Gran Turismo Sport. GT Sport will feature a campaign mode, arcade mode and sports mode, single player and multiplayer racing. There will also be two world championship competitions that are going to be ratified by real life racing organization, the FIA. You can either race to support your favorite car manufacturer or race for your country. There will also be support for the PSVR virtual reality headset. Gran Turismo Sport will be the perfect introduction to the gameplay mechanics of Gran Turismo 7. Neo was originally intended to be a movie with a game tie-in. It's been reimagined and reborn as a bona fide PS4 exclusive. A dark action role-playing game that's best described as Dark Souls meet Onimusha. Set in 16th century Sengoku era Japan, you play as William, a blonde haired exorcist samurai on a quest to defeat the demons that are overrunning your kinsmen. You use traditional Japanese sword stances to powerful effect to fight and defeat enemies. It also features Demon Souls like asynchronous gameplay so you will see swords of other players who have died before you. Swords that reproduce the ghost of the deceased player who will attack you, but if you defeat them, you can gain additional equipment. Neo is a dark and exciting game that blends action with Japanese history and supernatural mythology. And the challenge level could make this perfect for well-seasoned players. Ratchet and Clank were blasted onto the gaming world almost 15 years ago in a PS2 platform. The game has now been reimagined for the PS4 generation. Made specifically to tie in with the upcoming motion picture, it takes the same characters, the sci-fi setting, the humour, the outlandish weapons and modernises them whilst adding new planets to visit. The gameplay has also been updated so that it blends the best elements of the recent PS3 games. 
Of course the visuals have been so much improved, it looks worlds apart from the original. It's so cutesy beautiful, you would be forgiven if you mistook it for a Pixar movie. So if you want to return to the Solana Galaxy and meet Captain Quark in a battle against Chairman Dredd, then pick up Ratchet and Clank for an unashamedly old school adventure. Epic is the powerhouse studio behind industry standard game creation tools Unreal Engine and the original Gears of War trilogy. Paragon is their first major game of the new gen. It's a third person action MOBA, a competitive game of 5 vs 5 as each team tries to push into their opponent's base to destroy its core which has automatic defences to help protect it. Featuring a diverse range of heroes for you to choose, each team has an AI controlled army of servants called minions that march for you onto your opponent's base. What's interesting about this game is that it's a MOBA first so there are some deep layers of strategy built in that take advantage of the third person view. Ground where some parts are higher than others which can be used to play as advantage to attack enemies on a lower level and there are areas that you can make a surprise flank of opponents. Paragon is free to play and is yet another game that features cross play between PC and PS4 players and is console exclusive to PS4 in 2016. Persona RPGs are coming of age stories. Likewise, Persona 5 is a school life simulator where adolescents who are maturing socially and physically into young adults also have an awakening of their special Persona abilities. At the same time, a series of peculiar occurrences are taking place and there is a mystery that is just waiting to be uncovered. The pupils must learn to use their personas on a journey of self-discovery against the darkness that they must inevitably face. P5 has beautiful 3D cell shaded anime graphics and will feature a turn-based attack system, exploration of dungeons and a rich story with a cool acid jazz and J-pop soundtrack. Persona 5 is exclusive to PS3 and PS4 with the latter featuring enhanced visuals. Class is in session. Boundless clearly has Minecraft in its DNA, but there is a twist. It's an open world sandbox persistent universe where cross platform play is possible between PC and PlayStation. You of course have the ability to craft, to build and to explore. The bespoke voxel game engine gives the game almost limitless freedom in creating procedurally generated terrains and weather systems. Matched with the vibrant colours, it imbues the landscape with a surreal beauty. You can play the game in any number of ways. You can set off on a quest to gain loot and fight enemies, even teaming up with other players to defeat the mighty protectors or even the behemoth sized titans. You can craft your own unique items and offer them to other players or even build your own spacesuit and make money by charging other players for entry. It also has its own backstory, telling of the extinct race of explorers, the Oot. It is their technology that built the portals, allowing you to journey to the other side of the universe. Boundless is a game that celebrates player freedom in a new open universe. Oh how we've missed you. It's been a long wait but Nathan Drake, the dawn of third person action adventures is finally back. Forget about the artificial controversy and the not unreasonable delays. Naughty Dog have proven that they will take the time to craft the game of the very highest calibre. In Uncharted 4, we'll get to catch up with some old faces and get to meet some new ones. As Nathan sets out on a dangerous quest to find some very mysterious pirate treasure. The linear gameplay of the genre that has been perfected for telling a narrative adventure has received the first major overhaul for over two generations. Naughty Dog call it Wide Linear. It empowers them to fully control the mood and pace of storytelling in a controlled environment whilst giving the player a much greater sense of freedom to explore the game world via multiple paths. 
and to have a closer emotional connection to the story. Action, high adventure, exploration, stealth, big set pieces. Naughty Dog promises to deliver it all in the game that will raise the bar this generation in technical achievement. Join Nathan Drake in his last chapter, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. Live your life. Or we can just end it right here. Project Trico was first publicly revealed in 2009 as a PlayStation 3 title. After a protracted development schedule, it's finally set to release an extraordinary seven years later, now renamed The Last Guardian. It's the tale of a young boy who befriends a mysterious bird cat creature named Trico. As they form a bond of trust, they set off on a journey of a lifetime. The Last Guardian is an action adventure with many puzzle elements. Designed and created by Fumito Ueda, the auteur behind Ico and Shadow of the Colossus, it shares many thematic elements with its previous games, including dual protagonists, where cooperative gameplay is used to further the narrative of their growing emotional closeness. The game uses an advanced physics engine to accurately depict Trico as a living creature with realistic movements and natural animation that looks sublime. Sony's continuous funding of the title when other developers might have pulled the plug shows their faith in it and their profound commitment to gaming because they have prioritised artistic vision and integrity over profits. This faith looks set to be rewarded with a unique adventure that has the emotional punch of Ico and Journey combined in a true PS4 exclusive. Galaxies waiting to be found. Who would have thought that the boy Sean Murray and his dreams of adventures amongst the stars could mature into the most ambitious indie game ever? and spark a frenzy across the entire computer and video game industry. No Man's Sky is a space adventure exploration and combat game that looks like it can recapture that wonder of when you first played it, that you can enter the game world and do anything and go anywhere. Strap yourself into your Horizon Omega ship, upgrade your weapons, fit a hyperdrive, become a trader, a miner, a smuggler, a bounty hunter, discover new planets, new creatures, name that which has no name, uncover the secrets at the heart of the universe, make your mark on the galaxy. This is the one to watch. No Man's Sky will take you stratospheric. San Diego Studios brings the excitement of Major League Baseball Night direct into your home in one of the most critically acclaimed sports franchises ever. New features include Showtime so you can slow down the action for more precise control and the ability to import your career from the last edition. Based on Celtic myth, Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice is a combat adventure that follows lead character Senua on a journey through a nightmarish underworld, whilst having to face her own inner demons. The character model has been completely redesigned and is based on photographer and sometimes model Melina Jurgens. Hellblade will deliver superior combat and a rich character story. Dead or Alive Extreme Free Fortune is a spin-off game from the Dead or Alive fighting franchise, featuring many of the female characters in a series of mini-games. It delights in highlighting the attractive physiques and feminine nature of the characters, with the PS4 version featuring improved breast dynamics. Sadly, a vocal minority of US game websites have led to Tecmo deciding not to release this in the West. Thankfully, there is an English language track and there are plenty of international stores, including PlayAsia, that will import it for you. The Forest is an indie open world survival horror game. 
You are a plain crash survivor on an island filled with insane cannibals. Unlike other games of the genre, the openness means you are free to play how you want. Craft, run, hide or kill. Be prepared for a game that is both intense and frightening. Matt Narva, the art director of BAFTA award winning game Journey, has set up his own studio. Its first project is Abzu, which takes players on an epic adventure underneath the depths of the ocean. A swimming simulator where you must navigate your way amongst the serene and more predatory aquatic animals. As you explore, a powerful narrative story will unfold. God Eater 2 Rage Burst is a fast and dynamic action role playing game that builds upon the story arc of the original. There are now bolt on attacks called Blood Arts and new character episodes. Battle the dangerous beast known as the Aragami and you can become a God Eater. In near realistic flight combat simulator, Ace Combat 7, you get to fly modern aircraft and engage in dogfights. It also features support for PlayStation VR. Wild is a hugely ambitious survival adventure game set 10,000 years ago in a land of humans, animals and mystical beings. As a human, you can use shamanic powers to possess wild animals to help you with your objectives. Avoid the cannibal tribes live in harmony with nature, summon the divine, but beware the unpredictable consequences. Wild looks set to be a refreshingly different and wondrous game. Yakuza is the spiritual successor of Shenmue. It takes Yu Suzuki's design action RPG blueprint and uses it for a game set in present day Japan amongst the criminal underworld. Kiwami is a remake of the original Yakuza. It includes additional content and features improved graphics. Whilst a western localization hasn't been confirmed, it was number one in Japan, making an English soundtrack or subtitled version much more likely. To hold back, annihilate them. I'll never forgive you for what you've done. Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness is a space JRPG, the latest in the classic franchise. There are seamless transitions right between the real-time action battles and cutscenes, giving the player a more immersive experience. Set two years after the events of Resident Evil 6, Umbrella Corpse takes the loneliness of the survivor horror genre and reimagines it as a multiplayer shooter with players fighting zombies. It also has a single player horde mode to practice your combat skills. Everybody's Golf, also known as Hot Shots Golf, is a golf game that focuses on the fun experience. It uses avatar cutesy graphics and combines them with realistic golf mechanics and physics. Nier Automata is set in the same post-apocalyptic world as the PS360 game Nier. It is the time of the machine wars where humans battle an alien race of beings using your heart androids. You take control of one, called Model 2B, in a fast-paced action game. An adventure game set in a beautiful land, depicted with vibrant cell-shaded graphics. In Hob, you use your metal arm to push blocks, to grapple surfaces and even as a shield as you traverse a land of strange machinery. Yeah. 
King of Fighters 14's development is being led by Yasuyuki Oda, the battle designer behind the highly lauded Street Fighter 4. The game will feature 50 fighters, mixing a roster of old favourites and new characters. The inclusion of the new Max Mode system will mean you can be sure to deliver a knockout punch. The aliens have taken over, and this is the last chance for humanity to fight back and regain control. Alienation is an explosive shooter that takes you on a Xeno slaughter fest as you take back your home planet. There's a full campaign, online co-op for four player squads and player versus player. Crossing Souls is set in 1986 California and is the story of a group of school friends who discover a mysterious artifact that threatens their quiet town and takes them between the two planes of reality, life and death. It's an unashamedly old school action adventure with RPG flourishes. Explore, solve puzzles and fight against an enemy to avoid a war between worlds. The 8-bit graphic stylings in this instance are a perfect fit as they are representative of the game graphics of the era. It combines all them feels of 80s movies, cartoons, games and the feeling of being a kid wanting to break out into a world of adventure. I have high hopes for this one. Based on the 16-bit era classic, Shadow of the Beast is a platform action adventure. You play as Arbron, who was kidnapped as a child and corrupted into a monster. You explore a variety of wildly different levels with parallax backgrounds. Gameplay features brutal combat attacks against enemies. World of Final Fantasy is a game that pays tribute to its heritage, using chibi-style graphics that are reminiscent of early FF games. It's set in the world of Grimoire, which is inhabited by classic characters and monsters. You play as twin brother and sister, Lan and Rain, who have the power to change between their chibi and normal forms, and provide the means to make the game accessible to newcomers and experienced gamers alike. Feelings can be virtualized. It is actually highly probable that this whole reality is only a very well structured simulation. Loading Human is a VR only game, but I've included it because it promises to be so much more than just a tech demo. It has the potential to be a new type of gaming. It's an adventure game that blends a deep story, interactivity, and physical gameplay within a compelling sci fi universe set in the 22nd century. It takes you on a voyage across the Arctic and space and a VR environment for all kinds of meta-game reality stuff. There is a romance aspect that could make it mostly involving for players because of that sense of presence. What is especially intriguing is that this is a real game in the vein of half -Life. Fury is an accelerating game where you enter into a series of duels with deadly adversaries, each with their own distinct combat style that requires you to focus and use skill to defeat them. It features ultra sensitive controls, an explosive electro soundtrack, and guardians that have been designed by Afro Samurai creator Takashi Okazaki. Divide is a sci-fi adventure presented in the isometric style that was so popular in the late 80s and early 90s. You play as David, who discovers a conspiracy involving a mega corporation and must face up to armed agents in combat or by using subterfuge. Divide is a dungeon crawler 
that blends combat mechanics with a compelling story. We're getting close. Gravity Rush 2 refines and expands the gameplay of the original. You play as Cat, who is able to use a variety of gravity shifting powers to move through the sky. The new city has more destructible environments and a more reactive population. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. Day of the Tentacle Special Edition takes LucasArts 90s graphic adventure and gives it a complete HD overhaul. The development team used many of the original design assets so that the visuals remain faithful to the original. It's a humorous game where you time travel to various eras in the USA's colonial past. The Tomorrow Children is a Soviet themed sandbox title with community themes. You dig, you collect resources, you can develop your own town, your comrades will thank you for it. The developers of Treen have created a brand new game set in a gritty medieval province. In Shadwen, you are an assassin on a quest to kill the king. This stealth action adventure features a time mechanic so you can stop mid-motion and rewind time to change your course of action. Music games like Rock Band have the player repeat a series of button presses to recreate a song. Centris is different. It's a music puzzle game where you move sound blocks and choose instruments to create a song that is unique to you. Based in the fantasy world of Alephgard, in Dragon Quest Builders, the player must gather materials to rebuild the land. Tenertia is a hardcore 2.5D puzzler with a cute aesthetic. Featuring twin stick controls, you use a rocket launcher to energize your rocket jumps and power Sonic style speedruns. Highwire Games is a new development studio, co-founded by Martin O'Donnell, the composer genius behind the original Halo theme, and Jamie Greismeyer, game designer on Halo and Destiny. Their first game is a PSVR exclusive, Golem. You play as a blind girl who is able to take control of stone golems and explore the abandoned city. It's deliberately been created to be a transportative experience so that the player wearing the PSVR headset to play echoes the experience of the player character using the golems to explore. Golem has a strong pedigree behind it and could turn out to be a must-have VR experience. The Gauntlet Dungeon Crawler has been reimagined for the PlayStation generation. In Brutal, you can play as a warrior, ranger, mage or amazon in a procedurally generated world depicted entirely with ASCII symbols blended with a 3D visual style. The neon colours and circuit board map suggest a tip of the hat to movie Tron. Weapon crafting and talisman forging will help you in the combat that is so raw, it's brutal. Save a friend, or to grab a demon sword. Stories the Hidden Path is an action RPG set in a vibrant fairy tale universe filled with floating islands, airships, and colourful magic. It features branching pathways that emulate choose your own adventure books decision making. The demon sword showed him how he could end the war. Only one condition. Based on the anime series about humans who live behind huge walls to protect them from the giants who want to eat them. 
Attack on Titan is an action game that revisits key moments from the first season as well as adding new quests. The visuals closely match the anime and the gameplay is a mix of frenetic combat. David Jaffe's newest game is a third person arena shooter with graphics in the style of scribblings that might be found in a twisted teenager's notebook. The game is fast, violent and also tactical. The Japanese sales success of Dragon Quest Heroes meant that a sequel was quickly greenlit. Dragon Quest Heroes 2, Twin King and Ending of the Prophecy is another action oriented Musu game in the vein of Dynasty Warriors but with RPG gameplay. Now you can change character class, gain skill points when you level up, use the new tension mode to build up and unleash a special attack, and battle the Red Bull Sack. Seriously. You get to battle the Red Bull Sack. Dragon Quest Heroes 2. Distance is futuristic survival racing. It fuses the action of arcade racing with exploration. Your car must survive a deadly and mysterious city by jumping, flying, and rotating. As well as a single player adventure mode, there is also highly competitive multiplayer racing. Walking Simulator What Remains of Edith Finch is a collection of short stories about a cursed family in Washington State. Each adventure offers a chance to experience the life of a different family member, with stories ranging from the early 1900s to the present day. You'll follow Edith Finch as she explores the history of her family and tries to figure out why she's the last Finch left alive. This one is mine. Street Fighter V launched earlier this year to a barrage of critical reviews because key single player elements were missing. What was universal was the praise for the beautiful graphics and fluid combat mechanics which are regarded as best in the industry. The game is receiving content updates every month and don't be surprised to see a new release version before Christmas. It's time to put our yes, it has a name designed to pickle your brain, but Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue could be just what the doctor ordered for cynical gamers. It is a HD redux of Nintendo 3DS game Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, an action role-playing game that blends Disney characters with Final Fantasy in a user-friendly adventure. Night in the Woods is an exploration adventure game where you control an anthropomorphic cat named May who has dropped out of university and returned to her hometown to find some unexpected changes. You play by walking, talking and interacting. There is a strong focus on characterization and the game has many of the thematic elements included in movies where teens hang out together for a long night of self-discovery. There is a delightful transcendent soundtrack that reflects the mystical setting and yearning desires of the characters. The graphics styled like a kid's bedtime story are a next level of cute. This is a little game with big potential to become your next indie favourite. Twenty sixteen is already a very exciting year for PlayStation Four gamers. Whatever niche you're into, you can be sure that there is something out there for you. It's also worth taking a chance on a genre that you don't always play, as you may discover something wonderful. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and share it with friends, and do subscribe so you never miss out on the latest videos. Cheers.